Hey guys, good morning. Derek from Bomb Socks here with another round of Bomb Bites where we are feasting upon the words of Christ and we're doing it one bite at a time. This is a special edition of Bomb Bites where we are helping you get to know our prophets and apostles in preparation for our upcoming general conference this weekend, October 2020 general conference. Uh, so we've been doing a little thing called two truths and a lie about the apostle. Again, the lie is from me, not from them. Uh, we've been doing a little infographic that we put together here at Bomb Socks. And then the last one we have is a quote from General Conference. We're doing three apostles a day. We've already taken care of nine of them so far. So if you want to see those, go back and watch the previous episodes. Uh, but here is number 10 right here. You never tire of hearing from this man. This is Elder Dieter F. Uchtdorf. So here are the two truths and a lie about Elder Uchtdorf. Number one, he has flown for both the German and the United States Air Forces. Okay. Number two, he bought a Mama Crimmins cookie at the Bountiful Farmer's Market a couple years ago. My wife uh, owned a cookie business and wonderful cookies. So good. Um, and we would frequent the Farmer's Market there at Bountiful several times. Uh, number three, he has only two children, one boy and one girl. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can guess which one of these is the lie. Okay, as much as I want number two to be true, sadly it is not. He has not had a Mama Crimmins cookie. Uh, we actually, we were there at the farmer's market and we had a lot of friends tell us, oh, the Uchtdorfs come here. They live up in the North Salt Lake area. And they said that the Uchtdorfs come here quite a bit. And we found out that the one week we, we were gone that week, that was the week they came to the farmer's market. So we missed having an apostle eat my wife's cookies. And sadly, but what do you do? you move forward. So here's a little Uchtdorf for you. So this is Dieter Friedrich Uchtdorf, born in the Czech Republic, raised in East and West Germany, age as of today 79.95. His wife's name is Harriet. Uh, they have two children, a boy and a girl. His schooling, uh, you can feel free to just read that. It's the International Institute for Management and Development. Uh, he also got an MBA there. Uh, mission, he did not serve a full-time mission. Occupation, he's the chief pilot and captain for the Lufthansa German Airlines. Random trivia, and I've seen this, if you watch conference, he totally does this. He changes his ties between every session of conference. He loves to ski, and Dieter translates into Derek from German. So I like that, since my name is Derek. Uh, so that's Elder Uchtdorf for you. Here's a wonderful quote from last conference from our friends at LDS Living from Elder Uchtdorf. Okay, hopefully you loved that quote from Elder Uchtdorf. Like I said, you never tire of hearing his wonderful German accent as he speaks. Okay, here is number 10. You've got this gentleman right here, Elder Jeffrey R. Holland. Wonderful Elder Holland. Um, number one, he was instrumental in starting up the BYU Hawaii campus. Number two, he was an institute teacher with the church educational system. And number three, he lettered in football, basketball, track, and baseball in high school, a four-sport athlete. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can guess what the false one is from Elder Holland. Okay, the false one is number one. He was not instrumental in starting up the BYU Hawaii campus. Let me show you the uh, infographic here, and that'll help you get to know him a little bit better. Jeffrey Roy Holland. Born and raised in St. George, Utah. He talks about his beloved St. George often. His age as of today, 79.89. His wife's name is Patricia. If you ever want to have some cool experiences, go back. He was president of BYU uh, for uh, during the 80s, and he and his wife would speak. If you go find some of their BYU speeches, you will not be disappointed. Both he and his wife are gifted speakers, and it was fun to be able to hear them. Some of the finest talks given. If you're looking for some good things to listen to, Elder Holland and Sister Holland's talks when he was BYU president. Uh, they have three children, Matthew, Mary, and David. Both Matthew and David have been involved also in education as well. Elder Holland, uh, president of BYU was his occupation. He was church commissioner of education, and he was an institute director and instructor for the church educational system. Random trivia, a significant achievement during his presidency was the founding of the BYU Jerusalem Center. In fact, if you haven't had a chance, uh, go look up on YouTube, Corona Spection from Elder Holland, and it's he with a good friend of his, a, a, a Jewish gentleman, Jewish rabbi. Uh, it's an awesome perspective on uh, coronavirus and how Elder Holland himself has handled this crazy time period. It's wonderful, well worth your time. 
as you know how good of a teacher Elder Holland is. Uh, you'll love it there. Uh, he wanted to be a doctor, but he felt strongly after his mission that he wanted to be a teacher. And I believe we have all been blessed for that as well. Yeah, very gifted athlete. He was a four-sport athlete there at, uh, at Dixie. So anyway, that's Elder Holland for you. Here's a wonderful, one of his many wonderful quotes from uh, General Conference, uh, collected by our friends over at LDS Living. Okay, so our last apostle for today is Elder M. Russell Ballard, right here. Elder Ballard. One, he is the grandson of two former apostles. Number two, when he was in college, his fraternity brothers called him the bishop because he was so solidly righteous. And then number three, his favorite meal, spaghetti and his wife's homemade meatballs. Okay, you go ahead and pause the video, see if you can guess what the false one is. All right, the correct false one is number three. I don't even know if his wife makes homemade meatballs. I just made that up. But it is said that his favorite meal is steak and fries, which is another reason why I love this man. Uh, so that's Elder Ballard for you. Elder Ballard, uh, his name is Melvin Russell Ballard, born and raised in Salt Lake City up on the East uh, Bench. Age as of today, 91.93. His wonderful wife, Barbara, uh, they she passed away in 2018. In fact, I was teaching two of his great grandkids during that time period when his uh, uh, when his wife passed away. And it was so cool to hear uh, two great grandkids bear testimony and talk about the love that he has for his wife. And all you got to do is you look back uh, at his, his general conference talks shortly after his wife passed away and you see the tenderness of Elder Ballard as he speaks about his beloved wife, Barbara. Uh, they had seven children, went to school at the U. Uh, Mission in England, uh, his occupation was investments, real estate, and automotive. Uh, random trivia, back in the 1950s, the Holy Ghost told him not to start an Edsel car dealership. If you want to look up the Edsel, that's kind of a fun little car uh, in Salt Lake City. He ignored the impression, and it proved to be a financial disaster. He feels that the experience taught him empathy for others. Now, back in 1980, he spoke to the church, and he said, if you would like me to help you in your efforts to reclaim a, uh, a loved one who has left the church for one reason or another. He said, give me their address. I would love to write to them and I would love to speak to them, to you or to them to help out. So he wrote over 600 members of the church in an effort to help them reclaim lost loved ones who left the church. So that's the kind of personal ministry you've got there with Elder M. Russell Ballard. And he is wonderful. In fact, one of his one of his uh, great grandkids gave me uh, a book of his, his book is called our search for happiness and it's signed to me from uh, elder ballard and i and i love that and so that's that's a that's a treasure that i have right there from elder ballard uh here is a quote from last conference from elder ballard from our friends at lds living Okay, so anyway, I hope we're helping you get to know these men a little bit better in preparation for a general conference coming up this weekend. Hey, you guys are great. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and sharing, and we will see you tomorrow for our remaining three. Take care, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.